So Tam Product Shop, we got a little uh, exhaust welding job to do here on the um, maintenance guy or the managers of the place I rent. This is his van. And uh, I was up already, I already went up under there and welded upside down, burned the shit out of myself, but I was only able to get like 70% of the weld. The, um, the exhaust actually disconnected from the manifold and it just it was hanging there so it was super loud it sounded crazy as hell so what we need to do is actually pull the whole exhaust out so i can weld all the way around it i might even reinforce it and then as i was looking around i found a spot in the back that needs welded so we need to drop the whole exhaust on this thing get it up on the welding table and do it right for them so i'm gonna get this thing up on jack stands now when i uh jack things up out here on the asphalt i i have these aluminum discs that I put down because if you put a jack stand down on this asphalt, them things just sink right in there in this hot Florida sun, man. The, the asphalt gets real uh, soft-like <laughs> and we don't need this thing sinking on us. Okay, I just made some uh, maple bacon. Cooked it in a little oven, put some maple syrup on it. So we're going to get up under here spray some uh penetrating oil on the bolts let that soak while i eat my lunch real quick uh but i want to show you what's going on real quick also let me give you a little piece of advice if you got long hair be extremely careful your hair could get caught up in one of these things and how i know is it happened to me one day and i literally got stuck under my own car i had to inch my way out and then literally like rip my hair out which kind of sucked okay so here's the situation this completely detached here now i came up in here and uh did what i could uh to weld this back on i basically just put my jack under here pushed it back up welded it in place but i can't get around to the back side so what we need to do I'm gonna spray these bolts we need to disconnect this sensor and uh, then we need to come over here do the same thing disconnect the sensor spray the bolts someone's already been here so this thing's been uh, down the road of cracks and here is the other crack it cracked right off of that weld there's another sensor here we need to disconnect so hopefully this stays intact and then we're going to disconnect it right there uh, but we have this thing hopefully it just slides right out of this bracket so we got one two three four five six seven eight bolts to take off and uh, we'll just drop this little piece bring it in the shop and get it up on the table what we're going to do is Spray this with some uh, specialist fast acting WD 40 penetrating oil. Let me get down here. Get, oh, no way. I think I just, I just I almost ran my hair over after I just warned you all about that. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to shave my head now. Uh, I'm on the wrong side. I need to go spray that from the other side. Okay, I'm gonna do this and then uh, we're gonna go eat and then we'll drop this out and uh, we'll get to welding. Yeah. No? Well, you need a breaker bar? I'm gonna guess, yeah. A, a bigger gun? Mm, do we have one? I got a bigger gun. This should do it, man. These are just little fucking. I have too much extension. Yeah. Alright. What are the in here? Overall, at huh? least this thing's not a rust bucket yeah, or right. too overly oiled up. Yeah. Okay. Christmas is coming. I want my angled ratchet. 
electric electric or ratchet. ratchet. Okay. Yeah. I want one too. We're not gonna have to move this from cross member, are we? No. Where where else is it broken? Uh oh, it can already came off. Damn dude. You don't need to take all that off. It's sitting we're working up there. Do you? I need to get this out. I was gonna bring it weld it up on the bench. There's still a bunch more shit to take off. Yeah, this has to come off. No. Yeah. I didn't know you wanted to take it off. I thought you just wanted to Wait, we it. can't sneak it forward out of here? This is only right here. No. It's not off of there yet. Do you think it'll just push back together? Yeah. Yeah. You sure? Yeah. You'll okay. know where it's broke. Well, I can see where it's broke, it's but how are we going to get it back together? It's not a smooth break. <laughs> I don't know. I think I should just finish tearing it off. Oh, dude. Okay. It looks like whoever welded that probably welded it hot. Been welded? Yeah, you can see the weld right here, dude. Oh. Someone already been here, dude. This dude needs a new exhaust. So that's what it needs. Okay. Assess the situation. So. That's all that's broke? Did you check the back? I didn't go further back than this. This is what I've seen. Where else did you see it broken? Uh, right right there where the thing's falling off of it. Oh, okay. So that's nothing. All right. That's what I figured. It got rear-ended, so it might be broken back somewhere else. Huh? I'll look at it, man. He got rear-ended pretty hard. Yeah, it might be broken back. Past. I don't know. Yeah, so apparently he was driving about 70 on 95 and some drunk lady rear-ended him so hard it blasted him forward and then she was stuck underneath of him. That's a hell of a hit. Damn, this looks worse than it did the other day. Uh, anyway, and then he was telling me there's a clause in the rental company. She was driving a rental, the lady, and um, clause is their insurance don't cover shit if people are drunk. What kind of bullshit is that, man? That's just like letting them slip out of a situation. Yeah, he sued her personally and it's got a, a judgment against her, but what does it look like? Uh, pretty good back there? Okay. All right, we need to hair up and knock out this welding because uh, we got scrap everywhere, man. It's just, you know, there's some nuggets down in here too. We got to get to. Uh, so, all right, we're gonna get this up on a table and uh, figure out how we're gonna weld this thing up. Okay, this is where we're at. Got the welder set up. I'm gonna be running um, flux core wire with the shielding gas to get the best weld possible. Now when you're welding dirty, rusty, crusty stuff, uh, the flux core wire is actually better because the, the um, cleaning flux is actually on the inside. And uh, what we're gonna do now is uh, hit this with a wire wheel, clean it up the best we can. We're trying not to break the little tab. I mean, there's just like one little tiny piece holding on. But the problem is, you see this gap, it needs to come up and pinch down just a little bit so that we get this back the way it was. Now this could have been a result of whoever welded this before, uh, putting too much heat to it, who knows? A lot of times I've seen metal break right next to a weld before. So what we're gonna do, we cut these little pieces and uh, we're gonna weld these alongside, one on either side. I'll straighten that back out with a hammer or whatever. Or that will go on the inside. Let me see. No, I, I wanted a bent to follow the contour. That one will almost be right there. Okay. There's nothing in the way here, right? No. No? Okay. No, yeah, she's done. And then we're going to do the same thing here where I welded this up last time. Oh, look at all them boogers in there. 
<laughs> yeah, that was that was a tough weld underneath the car, and I, I got a good burn. That thing sizzled on my skin. So we'll get this cleaned up and uh, we'll weld some support on here so that don't break there and uh, hopefully he'll be good to go Beat on there. Here's my little tap. Look at that. Laid a nice bead down in there. Now uh, that worked really nice because it was down in a, in a little valley, so we can actually see the back side. Alright, we're going to fix that little piece there. And then weld up that hole I burned in there. Reinforce this for the guy. We're going to go out a little reinforcement there. And one right there. I'm going to put a little paint in there. Hatchet time.
Oh, I think fell. Uh, well, it hasn't fallen all the way off, but it's twisting and bending and doing more things than it should be doing. No, we better put a clamp on it. Okay. I'm over here beating on this thing, that's why. Why would the exhaust crack like that? Steady, steady weld. The guy who welded it before? Yeah. But what about this one? This one cracked up here. Steady weld. There's no weld around it. What do you mean? It just cracked all, it's like this here. It just flared out. And it cracked like two inches down. It cracked here, all the way around. Think when that lady hit him, it could have tweaked something and put oh, some air yeah. pressure. Yeah, I, it looks like he's got, I know he's got frame damage in the rear. Now that shit bolted to the frame. <laughs> so, yeah, man. Do you think I really need to weld both sides of this or one side of this? You got man, and it's not. I just that to both sides. Both sides? Yeah. Yeah, put it on there. Alright. I mean, we gonna lay it on. You know, the brake is kind of bad. Okay, I'm gonna hit this with the wire wheel as much as I can so we can uh, get a better chance of a good weld. I'll be real careful, this thing's getting more and more sketchy by the minute. see there's just like a little ribbon where that crack offset itself and we gotta get this thing jacked up somehow to be right Hold 
Okay, wait. Let it cool off. I felt it moving while you were welding. How's it look? I mean, the bottom looks great over here. Did it open up on top again? Not really. I mean, it's about as close as it's going to get. But... I felt it moving around while you were welding. It. Really? Yeah, you, when you tighten it, you just do a tiny little tight, four or five of them. See, this is what's holding it up right there. Okay. I wonder if we took the cut off. I think we're good, man. This thing will rotate around. We got some play. You know, a little bit of wiggle room. Okay. What are you thinking? You want to wire wheel it? I did wire wheel it as much as I could. Okay. But what I'm thinking is, if that little corner, we just cut into it and cut off real quick, and we let that bend back in. Think so? I don't know where, where where it needs to be, man. I think it's good. It was where it needed to be. And See, then that's the only part that's touching. The problem is the bottom is still connected, so it's not letting it get up over that. Where's my little pick? If we just connect the bottom, we're going to be gone. Yeah, no, no I don't want to do that. I want to get that. So? It looks good, actually. It's been broke for a while and flopping around, so it's going to... Yeah, it's kind of worn little, out. All right. It's, it's not going to fit really perfect. Okay. We're at the point of no return. probably fit this on the vehicle at this point but we're just gonna send it and pray <laughs> Okay, there you have it. All welded up. Not the prettiest looking weld, but that was kind of some dirty metal. Now, I'm just gonna weld a brace right there and another one on the other side. And hopefully this thing fits right back in there.
What's the best thing to do? I have no idea, dude. I was wondering that myself. I have no fucking clue. There's something in it. Where if it's a It might just be a light or a fuse in there. Yeah, I don't even know where that came from, dude. Throw it out. Oh. What is it? It's a transient voltage surge protector. Thirteen amps. Thirteen amps? Yeah. Thirteen amps voltage surge capacitor. That's like a your little cheap generator running your power tools off of it. Yeah. It will burn them up. It'll burn the power tools up? Fuck yeah. You get about a third of the life out of them that you're supposed to by running them off on a cheap generator. I need one more plug. Oh, you know where they might be, Steve? I need the mail. Okay, there you have it. We've got it welded all back in place and uh, reinforced. Now these little extensions, they might have been a little long. I probably should have welded it to the very end, but hey, it's better than no extension or uh, supports. These ones came out really nice. And uh, hopefully uh, the whole thing just doesn't break off now. <laughs> I'm always worried with thinner metal welding it and then it you know getting hot and uh cracking next to it but um anyway it's getting late we're going to uh get this back under the truck and uh get it back to them Okay, well, we took a dinner break and it got dark and um, the guy was happy. There was no leaks when we were done on our end, but he did have an exhaust manifold leak. So uh, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned because we are having a massive scrap break now. We literally got scrap coming out the shop. So we got some massive lights, whole trailer full of lights. That's the last load from Orlando. Um, I'm not going to sit here and weigh that stuff separately. We get, we got a short time to get the stuff processed. So, uh, I'm just going to estimate that's probably $800 worth of scrap, aluminum and some copper. And I did, I did, uh, blow through a hundred dollars worth of fuel getting that. So anyway, stay tuned for the next video and, uh, we'll see you on that one. I'll tell you where we're going, right to the scrap yard.
<laughs> okay, let's just take a moment to uh, marvel at this German engineer and where this bolt is too long and actually hitting the uh, axle shaft here. And I can't get that out. I might have to push that out that way to get this off. Like, all they had to do was put that bolt in from the other side and put a nut on this side, and that thing would have been all right. I don't see how this is supposed to come out. It's bottoming out against it. What the heck, man? Well, it came from the factory. Loose motor mounts. It's the big nut that came off. You want to hit that with an impact? Yeah. You got one? You want, to get, uh, you want me to get my air out? I can get you the big lug buster, the vault. 